Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to set a password on the Google Nexus 5. So at the moment, if we turn the device on, we've actually got the ability to access the device simply by swiping on the screen like that, which isn't very secure at all. And anyone can access the content on your phone if it were to get into the wrong hands. So we strongly advise changing the security methods and a password is one of the most secure options that you have available to you. Now you need to access the settings through either the notification bar or your app drawer. Once you're in the settings menu you need to scroll through until you find security and open that menu up and you should see the option there for screen lock. Now are we currently showing your current security method. If you tap on that, you'll get presented with a list. If you don't get presented with a list immediately, you're likely to have to enter your password, your PIN or your pattern, for example, to be able to access this menu. It's like a secondary security check. Now, one of the options we have down here is password. So if I tap on that, it gives us the opportunity to choose your password. Now with a password, of course, it can be a mix of numbers, letters, characters and syntax on the keyboard meaning it's much more secure than maybe a pin code which is unlikely to be guessed but has a greater likelihood of being guessed than a password so i'm just going to simply write test one two three four for this demo it must be at least four characters long you can change it until your heart's content or you can come out simply by clicking cancel i'm going to click continue i then have to enter it one more time to confirm it's correct click OK and that password has now been set. So if I power the screen off and then back on again, you'll see we now have to enter the password to be able to proceed. So I have to click that and then done and I'm now into the device. And then to change the security options again, you can simply click on screen lock. Now you'll be asked to enter the security method you're currently using one more time. And then you've got the opportunity to change the security method once more.